Kurt Locker made 17 million because it was a little ambiguous and thoughtful. And this one is just American hero. He's a psychopath patriot, and we love him. American Sniper glorifies war or simply shows one man's truth. You just heard talk show host Bill Maher slam the movie as propaganda, but he's not alone. So let's discuss the real deal here. We are joined again by Jeff Kyle, Chris Kyle's brother, and Scott McEwen, co-author of American Sniper. We're also joined by Sean Parnell, a U.S. Army Ranger, friend of Chris Kyle, and New York Times best-selling author of Outlaw Platoon. Gentlemen, thanks so much for being here. Uh, Jeff, do, are you surprised by some of the controversy and pushback that the movies had? No, not at all. You know, those people are always, there's always going to be naysayers out there. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter if it's Chris or if it's somebody else. They are always going to say something derogatory about somebody else. So, you know, we did what we did for them to be able to right. talk their trash. So you're welcome. So you go with the haters going to hate, and you give them that right by fighting for the freedom. L let me ask you a little bit different take on it. You're there over doing the mission. This is what you are told to do. Nobody asks you if you want to do the mission once you volunteer. Nobody asks you to discuss the merits of the mission. Do you think that's a lost a little bit in this when people criticize the war, why we got in it, how we did it, how long, wind up putting the target on the fighting men and women for that criticism? Yeah, I think that's, I think that's absolutely the case. I mean, if, if you watched American Sniper and you saw a political commentary on the Iraq war or you saw you know, a failed study on the intel surrounding the weapons of mass destruction that you were not seeing what most of America's warriors saw. And that was a, in, like a window into the heart of the modern American warfighter. And, and it focuses on the struggle, not just on the battlefield, but also at home, mm. which is critically important for Americans to understand what it's like for veterans like right. Jeff and I and Chris to come home. Scott, do you think that this is a pro-war movie, an anti-war movie? What is the message? Well, what I like about it is the fact that you can't really tell, and it's, it's just reality, and that's what Clint and Bradley and Jason Hall did such a good job of, is you leave it for what it is, because it's the truth. It, it tells the truth about the American experience and the soldier's experience, and I wouldn't categorize it as anything more than to say that if you're going to send our men and women to battle in foreign lands, then you better expect that there's going to be casualties taken, and you better give them the resources to fight and win the wars. And uh, all I can say is that Chris and what, what, what Clint did with his story is to tell you this is what goes on. So, America, we need to, we need to fight and defend the country. And uh, if you're going to do it, then just be real about what happens when you do do it and give our men and women the resources to win the battles. And you have to and be real. And I believe real. that's what this movie does a great job of. And you have to be real with the perspective on it. I mean, Marr is he's doing what he does. He's going for hyperbole there and, and to make some outrage. Um, psychopath is not just uh, inaccurate, but it's certainly in, insensitive. So let's focus on uh, Chris's own words. Put up the uh, quote of what Chris had said that got him blowback. And I want some context from it from those who knew him. Okay, this is obviously about the number of kills. The number's not important to me. I only wish I had killed more. Not for bragging rights, but because I believe the world is a better place without savages out there taking American lives. Now, w w how can people take that? They can take that as, you think all Iraqis are savages. You see, he's a bigot. Do you think that's a fair reckoning of the statement? No, no. You know, I mean, it, it doesn't matter where you're at, what war you're in. Uh, yes, our, our era... They were Iraqis or Afghanis, mm -hmm. you know. So yes, you have to, you have to have a certain hate for those people because they're trying to kill you. If you don't have that certain hatred for them, you're not going to come home. It, any other war, the Vietnam War, those men over there, they had a hatred for the Vietnamese, and they had to. You know, that's that's just what we do. Yeah, exactly. And I, I don't think Chris was referring to the Iraqi people there. I no. think he was referring to the enemy that we faced. And look, they are. I mean, when I was in Afghanistan, Jeff was deployed to Iraq. Uh, we, we, fought, we fought against an enemy that threw grenades in the cradle of newborn babies. We fought against an enemy that beheaded children, that stoned women to death. We fought against an enemy that didn't want women going to school or they didn't want women to be educated. We fought against an enemy that gouged the eyes out of little kids and knocked their teeth out so that they would be more pleasurable in bed. Right. This enemy is evil, and the world is a better place without them. And Chris knew and understood that. The interesting thing about Chris is that he had the purest form of patriotism and love of country that I've ever seen in my entire life, and it was contagious. And I think that we need more people like that in this nation. 
Jeff, what message do you think your brother would have wanted to come out of the film? I think the message that everybody's received. Um, it wasn't it wasn't him in that movie. Every parent, every brother, every sister can put their sibling or their child in that position and see what they went through while they were in country and then why they were who they were when they came home. You know, they weren't their little child anymore when they came home. War changes people. So I think this movie actually it it shows that. You know, it's not just Chris's story. It's every every warrior out there that's ever been in combat that's been in country and then come home. It's it's all of us. Sean Parnell, uh, Scott McEwen, and, and Jeff Kyle, just great to meet you. Thanks so much for sharing Thank your you. story of your Thank brother you with us. us. We really appreciate that. Thank you all. Well, you might be surprised.